What's up everyone, back with another episode of some live video game hunting. I'm going to stick local for this one, just try and hit the same shops a few times over the next few weeks, see how we fare out there. I have to hit CX as well, I've got a pilot trade in to bring up and hopefully we get some stuff there too. So let's just get straight into it, let's see what we pick up. Right, so couldn't really get any footage in there. There was a load of people standing around where they have all the books and media and whatever. But just reached over and grabbed two little things. Just a wrestling DVD for the collection. And then this uh, Prince of Persia, the two thrones of the PS2. It was two euro. It's pretty much what it goes for. But it was in absolutely immaculate condition. So we said, why not? We'll grab it while we're there. After that, I just did a quick dip up to CEX. I had a pile of stuff in for trade. If I remember to take a photograph, it'll be here somewhere. But I got 30 euro for it. So we had, I think we were down to about 46. It brought us up to 76. And then I picked up two GameCube games. I got 007 Nightfire for six euro and Spider-Man 2 for 15 so going forward when we go up to a CEX and do some trade we're going to be looking for basically mostly SNES cards and 64 cards and just any complete GameCube games that we can get so happy with that pickup let's keep going and see what else we can find Okay, that stop was absolutely mental. We picked up 19 games for Euro each. Nothing major to talk about, but we'll go through them back in the game room, but literally left a bag of games. So I think we'll call it a day for today and we'll hit the rounds again another day and see what we pick up then. Back in the game room, I already showed the four bits that we got earlier on the card, two GameCube games and the Prince of Persia. 
Now to get into this bag of games that I picked up in that charity shop. I got 19 games off the shelf for a euro each. I don't think I got them all in the footage because they were literally spread everywhere. There was two on one shelf, two on another. But these five we're going to trade off. So we have a GTA 5 Platinum for the PS3. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Platinum as well on the PS3. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the 360. The good old reliable Wii Play. We seem to pick one up in every episode lately. And then Just Cause on the PS2. I actually don't have this, but it's gonna appear in another little pile in a minute, so you'll understand why we're trading it off then. So essentially, those games were worth about 90 euro in sale value, and we paid, as I said, 19, and we're gonna get close to 12 euro back in trade, so we're talking 7 euro to add this pile of games to the collection. So there's nothing mad in here, I'll just go through them one by one. Probably one of the best ones in here is True Crime New York City. Another one I definitely had back in the day, it was great crack, so I'm looking forward to having another play of that. A FIFA Street on the PS3, I'm just going to last through these because there's nothing really of any significance. Uh, just all stuff again I don't have, so for that price you can't go wrong adding them to the collection. Deal or no deal on the Wii. A copy of Cars on the Wii. And a game party for the Wii. Then we got Freedom Fighters, PS2. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Xbox Live Arcade, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, two WE games, we got 12 and 13, Call of Juarez Bound in Blood, Assassin's Creed Revelations, and then Prototype 2. So most of these are actually complete as well, they've all got their manuals and stuff in them, so again for that price we can't go wrong adding them to the collection. Then I, what's next? Oh yeah, I kind of hit a few shops in a row, didn't see much for probably about a week actually. Uh, and then today, I just went to four or five more, only picked up games in one stop. A few good ones actually in this one. Some of them I didn't show on camera, I'll talk about that now in a second. These ones I pulled off the shelf though. A copy of Homefront on the 360 for Euro. Bratz Diamonds on the DS for Euro, this is obviously going to be a trader. And then um, for the first time we picked up PS1 games in the world. So these were 250 each, probably about what they're worth, but you don't see PS1 games in the world too often. And they don't sell them in CEX here either, so literally the only place you can get them is the retro gaming store. So at that price, we'll see them in the world, we'll pick them up. Obviously I left behind two on Speed there and FIFA's or whatever like that. But uh, Kill Borders 2, which looks pretty good. And the fifth element. So as they were 250 each, when I was walking out, I noticed, and a couple of times I've gone to the shop and they've had a few games in the window, generally they're priced up a bit too high. But I seen these two titles just sort of piqued my interest, so I had a quick look and seen they're actually worth a few quid. So we got them, we're gonna give them a go. So we got Akuji the Heartless. These were five euro each. I think that one goes for about 15, but it actually looks really interesting, so I'm looking forward to playing that one. And then a copy of Exhumed. This was a fiver as well. But this one goes anything from 35 to 50 complete. The full disclosure, it's not complete. Uh, it does have the manual. And the disc is in there and the case. But the actual artwork is missing. Which is unusual. But with that as a collection, you never know. We might get a full version another time. Yeah, so nice little pickups in that last stop. Great to see some PS1 stuff. Hopefully we get a bit more of that going forward. But my last pile here, I mentioned in the last video, I did some online game hunting when I was in quarantine. This was probably a bit more of an experiment. I do get asked a lot in comments on Instagram and Discord how I go about game hunting here in Ireland. Just for little tips and advice and stuff like that. I've mentioned one or two places before. Obviously charity shops is the, I don't think I need to say that, like obviously that's the best place to pick up games on the cheap. But I did try, I had a look on a website I can't remember who it was, someone mentioned in one of their videos about buying cheap games off Music Magpie. So I'm familiar with Music Magpie, we don't have it here, they don't deliver to us here. But I just went down for a little look out of curiosity and they do some really good multi-buy deals. So you could get, it was four games for £5, so they were obviously the lower value games and then there was four games for £8 which were a slightly higher value. So I decided to go ahead and pick up a pile of stuff just to see what sort of value for money I could get out of it. They don't actually deliver to Ireland, but I do have, it's a dress palace called, it's like a parcel motel thing. So you set up an address, I have one for the UK, one for the US. So if you get things shipped, you get them shipped to those addresses and then you pay a preset fee to have them sent over. So Music Magpie do free delivery. And I had to pay 6 50 I think it was, to get them delivered over to me. So I picked up 12 games in total, I got two sets of the 4 for 5. 
and one set of the four for eight. So we got 12 games and spent 22 euro it was on it. And then the six euro delivery. I don't really count delivery when it comes to online orders because if I'm driving around four or five different charity shops looking for stuff, I'm probably burning more in petrol anyway. So it's probably cheaper to actually pay a reasonable amount of postage, like six euro for 12 games is pretty good. But the other thing I have to take into account is customs. We pay, it's, I think it's 20%, roughly 20% of the value of something in customs. Kind of got a bit screwed on these because as I said, I paid 22 euro for these games. But for whatever reason, customs decided to value them at 57. So I ended up paying more in customs than I thought. So I think our customs fee in total, you'll see me, sorry, glancing down, I have my notes, would be lost without them. So I think I paid 12 euro in customs. So I paid 34 euro in total, which works out at about three euro a game. I have it broken down on paper. I'm not gonna keep looking at it. I'll put a little thing down the bottom just showing how much that is in sterling and stuff like that. So yeah, the games arrived probably the day, it was the morning of the last video that I shot. So that's why I didn't show them in that one. I had loads to show in that. So we got a pile of 12 games. First impressions, I'm gonna show some pictures up here. I'm gonna keep switching out. The packaging on this was absolutely horrendous. They literally just stuffed the 12 games, six and six stacked, wrapped it in one jiffy bag, and that was it, off they went to the post. So as you can imagine, the games were in shite. Again, I've got pictures here, probably at the moment, showing bits of broken cases and stuff like that. So that was a bit disappointing. Looking at these, probably four of them, yeah, four of them were really badly damaged. One has a chip out of it, and then the rest of them are actually okay. A lot of these came complete as well. I'll talk about them individually as I go. But the first game that I got was Section 8 on the 360. As you can see, this is one that got absolutely milled in the parcel. Um, it's... That says a lot. At least it's complete because obviously the manual fell out. So yeah, that one was in bits. Final Fantasy X. Again, just got crushed in the package. Like literally all they had to do was put it in a box and put some, I don't know, a bit of bubble wrap in it, or even just put it in like a, you know, bubble mail or whatever you call those envelopes. Which look, we move on anyways, no point in complaining about it three weeks later. A copy of Hunted Demon Forge on the 360. This is another massacred one. But look, this is why we pick up replacement cases. We pick up games for 50 cent and a euro in the charity shops that we don't really want because we can switch the cases out. And obviously some of these are like, the labels have been torn, but look, we'll tape them back together and we'll probably find a better looking copy another day. I got Cameo, probably butchered the pronunciation of that. Elements of Power. This is the last sort of really mangled one where bits are still falling out of it as I open them now. A copy of, this one actually looks interesting. Haven Call of the King. This one has no manual, but the disc was actually pretty nice, so. From here on out, they're all pretty nice condition. I will give them that much. And probably the best of all, a copy of GTA Vice City on the PS2. Another one I had back in the day. There's no manual with this one, but it does still have the map. So a nice one for a collection. I mentioned Just Cause later on that I'm trading out because I'm keeping this one that I got on the 360. But this one is nice and complete. It has the manual, so that's why we're gonna trade the other one off. So that's next, a copy of The Blob on the Wii. Not in the original case, but again, we've got so many spare Wii cases. That one was complete as well. We got Dead Rising 2. Uh, another complete one, so that's nice for the collection. Not sure if it's supposed to come in the the connect box, but should you know, give out too much about that one. Don't know if I'm on already. Ted Island Riptide. The Darkness on the 360, also complete. And then just a copy of Need for Speed Pro Street on the PS2. I can't go on with it. a Need for Speed game. So yeah, I'll break down all the prices down below. You can make your own decision whether you think it's worth... Well, obviously the, the condition that they arrived in makes me think that I'm never going to order from them again. But value for money, like I suppose, again, not too bad. If I hadn't have been fleeced on the customs, it probably would have been more like two euro a game, which is pretty much what I pay now. So... I don't know, I'll leave it up to you. If you decide you want to give them a go, let me know how you get on. If you've ordered them from them before, let me know what your experience with them was. But yeah, just a nice little experiment. Just basically me taking a chance online game hunting and making mistakes so you don't have to. So you're welcome. Yeah, so that's it for this one. That's all our pickups for the last few weeks or so. I'm gonna be back in two weeks. I'm aiming to upload a new video game hunting video every second Thursday. And if we have anything else to upload in between, we'll do it on the odd week. 
But I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone that's come along to the channel lately. Everyone that's stuck with me since the start. We're up to nearly 300 subs, which is pretty cool. I'm getting some really nice messages from people on Instagram and Discord as well. Meeting some really cool people. So it's just been a great experience overall. So yeah, look, just thanks again. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again, hopefully, in those two weeks. Look out yourselves. Cheers.